Hello and welcome to the channel Science Branch Engineering. Today we are going to solve the APSC Assam Electricity Grid Corporation Limited that is AEGCL 2023 Mechanical Engineering Paper for Assistant Engineer Part 1. So let's get started. The COP of a refrigerator working on a reverse Carnot cycle is 4. The ratio of the highest absolute temperature to the lowest absolute temperature is so the answer is it is 1.25 so let us see how we get it so this cop of the reverse canon engine is 4 so q2 divided by q1 minus q2 okay that is the work we can write as q1 minus q2 is equal to 4 so q1 minus q2 by q2 would be equal to 1 by 4 so from here we get q1 by q2 minus 1 is equal to 1 by 4 or Q1 by Q2 is equal to 5 by 4, which is 1.125. Now, since it is working on the feature of Carnot cycle, so Q1 by Q2 is equal to T1 by T2. So, we get T1 by T2 is equal to 1.25. So, highest absolute uh, temperature divided by the lowest absolute temperature, that is the temperature of source divided by temperature sink is equal to 1.25. So, we will go to the next question. The subcooling is a process of cooling the refrigerant in vapor compression refrigeration system. So, when do we cool the refrigerant? The answer is, see, this is a vapor compression refrigeration. So, it is cool after condensation or that is before throttling. So, what we see is that 3 to 4 is the process of condensation, 4 to 1 is the process of throttling, 1 to 2 is the evaporator and 2 to 3 is the compressor. Now, since this temperature, we can use externally or we can cool it through this uh, refrigerant also. Okay. So, what we do, so this refrigerant 2 here, you see, it is at a lower temperature than this uh, refrigerant uh, that is after the uh, condenser. So, what we do, we throw a heat exchanger, we a exchange the heat so this 2 it comes to 2 dash so the temperature increases and from here 4 to 4 dash it goes so it is subcooled okay and similarly if we use an external device then what we can do is then from 4 it is cooled to 4 dash and from then it is throttled so it is after condensation or before throttling the subcooling is done so we'll go to the next question an impulse turbine is used for low head of water, high head of water, medium head of water or high discharge. So, an impulse turbine is used for high head of water. So, we will go to the next question. A turbine develops 5000 kilowatt when running at 80 rpm. The head of the turbine is 10 meter. If the head of the turbine is increased to 40 meter, the speed will become so. This is a problem of turbine. So the answer is, you see, we know unit speed is equal to n1 by root over h1 is equal to n2 by root over h2. Now, n1 is given, h1 is given, h2 is given. So, n2 would be equal to n1 into root over h2 by h1. So, it is 80 into root over 40 by 10. So, it is 160 rpm. Okay. So, we will go to the next question. An engine, an oil engine working on a dual combustion cycle has a compression ra ratio 13. If the cutoff risk cutoff occurs at 5 percent of the stroke, the cutoff ratio will be. So the answer is, see, this is the diagram for a dual cycle. Now 1 to 2 is the stroke length, which means that is V1 minus V2 is the stroke volume. Now we say, and this is the V3 minus V2 that is where so this is where cutoff occurs okay V3 so V3 minus V2 is equal to how much 5 percent of V1 minus V2 now from here if we divide V3 by V2 minus 1 is equal to 5 by 100 into V1 by V2 minus 1 so we divide both sides by V2 now V1 by V2 is what compression ratio so we know that is R that is 13. 
and then V3 by V2, it is the cutoff ratio. So, Rc minus 1 would be equal to the 0 0.05 into R minus 1. So, from here we get Rc is equal to 1.6. Okay. So, we will go to the next question. For flow over a flat plate, the critical Reynolds number at which the transition from laminar to turbulent flow takes place is, so the answer is, it takes place at 5 into 10 to the power 5 Reynolds number. Okay. So, we will go to the next question. The example of spring control governor is, so which is the spring control governor here? So, the answer is Hartung governor, okay. And along with, with Hartnell governor, Wilson Hartnell governor, Pickering governor, these are all spring control governors, okay. And also, uh, Pickering governor uses three leaf spring. A similar question was also asked in the APSC Irrigation Rules and 21 Mechanical Engineering paper. Okay. So, we will go to the next question. When two links have surface contact while in motion, the pair is, pair so formed is known as, so, the answer is, so it is known as a lower pair. So, none of these choices is the correct answer. So, if you have surface contact, it is known as a lower pair. If we have a point or line contact, it is known as a higher pair. Now, lower pair examples are piston and cylinder, a shaft rotating in a bearing or a nut turning on a screw. Now, maybe this answer A, it is a printing mistake, it should have been a lower pair, okay. However, we are taking the official paper from AGCL, so we, we are keeping that options as it is. So, then in that case, none of the options is correct, otherwise it is a lower pair, okay. We will go to the next question. For isochronous governor, the controlling force curve is a, so if it is isochronous governor, the controlling force is a straight line passing through the origin. So, we will go to the next question. A horizontal cross compound steam engine develops 400 horsepower at 90 rpm. If the speed is to be kept with 0.5% of the mean speed, the coefficient of fluctuation of speed will be, okay. So, this is a problem of this flywheel. So, the answer is, see, mean speed is, three, is what? Our RPM is given as 90. So, omega, mean speed omega is twice pi n by 60. So, it is 3 pi. Now, maximum speed would be, 3 pi plus 1 plus that is 5 percent and more so it is 3.015 pi and minimum speed would be 2.985 pi. Now maximum fluctuation of energy that is small e would be equal to half of i into omega 1 square minus omega 2 square so that is equal to 0 0.09 i into pi square. Now kinetic energy of the flywheel at mean speed is how much capital E would be equal to half of i omega square so that is 9 by 2 i pi square. Now, coefficient of fluctuation of speed that is k is equal to e by 2e, small e by 2 capital E. So, it would be equal to 0 0.01. So, we will go to the next question. The coupling used to join two shafts which have lateral misalignment is called, so it is called Oldham coupling. Okay. Now, if we see Flexible couplings can also tolerate a lateral or axial misalignment of 0 0.5 mm and an angular misalignment of 1.5 degree. However, Oldham coupling can uh, have tolerate a lateral alignment of greater magnitude. Okay. So, Oldham coupling is the correct answer. So, we will go to the next question. The atomic packing factor for a body centered cubic structure is. So, the answer is 0 0.68. So, if it is a body centered cubic, it is 0 0.68. If it is a face centered cubic structure, it is 0 0.74. And if it is a hexagonal close pack, it is again 0 0.74. Okay. And here are some of the examples of this kind of structure materials. Okay. So, we will go to the next question. The interstitial solid solution of carbon in gamma iron is called. So, is called 
austenite okay so austenite is the gamma iron in our iron carbon diagram so it is the it is interstitial solid solution of carbon in iron so go to the next question the measure of the amount of energy a body can absorb before fracture is called so it is called toughness okay so toughness is a measure of the ability to absorb energy up to its fracture okay it is the total area under the stress strain curve up to fracture point okay it represents the work done on a material per unit volume okay so we'll go to the next question the failure that happens due to cyclic loading is called so it is called fatigue failure okay so we'll go to the next question the top part of the molding box used in casting is called so it is called co and the lower part is called the drag so we'll go to the next question the process of heating a martensitic steel at a temperature below the eutectoid transformation temperature to make it softer and ductile it's known as so it is called tempering okay so we'll go to the next question spot welding is a type of so it is a type of resistance welding and along with it seam welding projection welding electro slag welding these are all types of resistance welding we'll go to the next question filler material used in brazing has a melting point of so the filler material used in brazing has a melting point above 427 degrees centigrade okay this filler material is what it is a copper alloy like copper zinc or copper silver alloy okay so go to the next question the go gauze represents a minimum hole size b maximum hole size. maximum minimum sub size c maximum hole size or d the difference of hole and sub size so the answer is the go gauge represents minimum hole size it may also represent the maximum sub size so we'll go to the next question to proceed with the modified distribution method algorithm for solving a transportation problem the number of dummy allocations need to be added is so the number of dummy allocation needed to be added is n minus 1 next the method used to solve linear programming problem without use of artificial variable is called so in this method which one does not have artificial variable so answer is it is the graphical method so if we see big m method uses artificial variable simplex method if we are having initial infeasible solution then also we use artificial variable dual simplex method also uses artificial variable however Graphical method directly doesn't use artificial variables. Okay, if from big M or from simplex, if we are getting the solution, then we can also put it in uh, using graphical method, but it directly cannot use the artificial variables. We'll go to the next one. Break even analysis chart is drawn between, so it is drawn between the volume of production or sales in the x axis and the income or the revenue from in the y axis. B is the correct answer. So go to the next question. The progressive plastic deformation at constant load over a long period of time is known as so it is known as creep. Okay. And this stress may be less than the ultimate tensile stress, and this phenomenon is observed at elevated temperatures. Okay, suppose you have a rod, you are putting some load on it, but you have it is at a high temperature, then creep may develop. Okay. So we'll go to the next question. The process which slightly improves the machinability of steels but lowers the hardness and tensile strength is so it is known as spheroidizing. Okay. So it is a special type of tempering where the specimen is reheated just below the lower critical temperature, and by this process, the carbide in the steel is transformed into a globular form, okay, and this makes the steel relatively soft, machinable, and suitable for subsequent hardening treatment okay so with this we come to the end of the part one of the AECL 2023 mechanical engineering paper for assistant engineer okay so we'll come up with the next two parts soon 
we'll see you in the next one